And Darren, since you played for Kerala Blasters previously, of course, in a non-COVID season as well. Firstly, what is the experience of playing like for that club in front of those fans? And very honestly, how did you deal with the pressure of expectations when you were a KPFC player? Well, uh, it wasn't. Uh, I mean, a phenomenal experience. Uh, and my my actually the initial bit when we started off was actually uh, an interaction with Shaiju. So I remember he was. Uh, reading out all the names and introducing the players to to everybody that had gathered, and I I remember then like you gave me an introduction of a nice guy and Shaju Shaju sir called me darling Darren. That was, <laughs> all, that was my introduction to KBFC. But yeah, I mean uh, I had an unfortunate injury just uh, just before the season started, so it took me a while to pick off. But uh, the the club is phenomenal. The fans are amazing. I cannot tell you there's there's so much of support coming in. There's irrespective of the results sometimes you know sometimes it doesn't go your way but they are always encouraging the players there are a lot of good messages coming in i got some of them in malayalam which i didn't understood uh, understand and i would always uh, look to prashant cuz he would uh, always be around the haku and ask them you know what does this mean and you know a lot of uh, support coming in it's a, it's a massive club it's a massive club and uh, yeah. i think um, it's important you know the last couple of seasons ha- haven't been going well it's important for the club and not just the club the fans as well because you know they expect so much every season and uh, and i think ivan has something going here you know before the game uh, yeah. uh, we had a chat with uh, ivan actually a long chat uh, pitch side and ivan was i felt like there was pressure on kbfc coming to that game but he was completely relaxed he was so relaxed and i was in my thinking how is he so relaxed because yeah. you know there is pressure they need to start winning games and things like that but he spoke about the the atmosphere in the camp he spoke about how every player there's a great camaraderie everyone is very happy with coaching with training and and it's a great bunch of people and you could see that in in the in the performance yes they did get three points sometimes you see teams not playing the best football but getting three points but if you look at that performance from kerala blasters they had a plan uh, coming into that game they were pressing high they were not making sure harvey didn't get enough of the ball vinit rai didn't get enough of the ball they were pressing them early and it was absolutely brilliant to see vasquez getting on the on the score sheet as well and just for somebody who's played at the club uh, previously and to see how much it meant to a lot of the players who I spoke to them after the game and and they were just so happy and delighted the important question is now they need to build up on that you know you just can't win one game and then go back and start dropping points again they need to use that uh, you know that those three points uh, get a bit of momentum there going and hopefully going forward they can start winning more games Yeah, you knew Darren on that on that note. Like you said, they can't just win one game and then go back to losing. You can't just do one let's football live show and then go back to doing none. So as yeah. I wrap up your stint on the first show, thank you so much for joining us. It's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, Shaju Chetan, do you wanna yeah, uh, yeah, quickly yeah, say yeah. bye to darling Darren? No, 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 no. no. Uh, before before saying goodbye to my darling Darren, I I want to I, I have a, I have a particular question to you regarding KBFC. I think uh, uh, these days. the defense seems a bit bit exhausted the defense all the four players including cabra uh, jessel sipo lesco all 30 plus so so do you do you think that uh, this over exhaustion of the defense may have adverse effect in a long run for kbfc well that's a that's a good question shaju sir actually uh, i remember asking um, uh, ivan again this question about sipo which and lesco which in in defense and uh, do you think at any point you would want to replace one of the foreigners and you know maybe rest them and get uh, uh, jorge diaz play up front or something of that sort you know would you want to do that but he was very very certain about not changing his defense he was like i will not change the defense the defense needs needs to stay the same cuz they are the ones who are going to keep a clean sheet and it's up to the, the the strikers the midfielders to get me my goals so yeah that's a good question cuz you know sometimes there are games every 3 days and how do you manage and um, I've been in, I've been playing in in that season where Jessel was there and Jessel was outstanding that season his first season at KBFC where he not only played every single game but he did not miss a single training session and uh, that speaks a lot about the kind of work he does off the pitch as well he takes care of himself it's important that uh, you know they don't don't get any injuries uh, that's another thing yeah. uh, Cabra I've seen Cabra's fitness levels as well uh, I watched uh, you know the game against uh, FC Goa he was bombing down that right flag around the 90th minute and and that speaks a lot vo- volumes of the the fitness uh, conditioning of the players as well but like you mentioned shaju so i think it's important that they don't get any injuries ivan has made it clear that he is not going to change that backline i think he's going to stick with that as long as there are no injuries and it's it's just about yeah keeping every player fit and uh, a bit of squad rotation we'll definitely see going ahead chetan if you have any more questions for darren write them in to me 
I will ask them in person and then I will have them make sure, make him make sure that he answers those questions in the next LFL episode as well. Shaiju sir, again, I, I have Shaiju sir's number. We'll just probably get on a Zoom call of our Oh yeah, you can, you can ask him chat. for the Malayalam translations also. You don't have to depend on a, on a hub or a <laughs> anymore.